Hey guys, well, it's been a while since I posted a screen set video. Uh, this one here was for a 16 position drum type changer with the arm. And I created this one uh, almost a year ago. I think it was in March of last year. And last week I was asked to do a rack style changer for a CNC router that uses ISO 20 tool holders or BT30 where a rack would be in the back of the uh, y-axis and you could just go from position to position and change your tools so let me show you what I came up with so here's the screen set and as you can see uh, in the top right hand corner you just have your standard Mach 3 stuff we have our three DROs here our soft limit on and off and our uh, LEDs to let you know the machine is referenced. Over on the left side, uh, we have our graphic for our spindle as well as a tool in spindle DRO. This lets you know what tool happens to be in the spindle. We have our power draw bar button. Uh, when this is pressed, it will manually actuate the solenoid for three seconds to let you manually insert and remove a tool. We have a LED indication under the spindle here. Uh, this is used to let you know that the tool is either clamped or released. Notice that when it is clamped, the power draw bar LED goes red, letting you know it is de-energized, and green when it is energized. Um, of course, I've added my logo here, but I could put any logo on a screen set or graphic, depending on what you want. Uh, we have a delete all button. Uh, this button will allow you to delete all the individual DROs for the rack positions. Uh, don't worry, if you push the button by accident, it will prompt you and make sure that you do want to delete your inventory. Uh, next we have a setup button. This will take you to another page. Uh, again you can have your logo or graphic down here. Um, and this is to set up each position of the rack tool changer. So the Y position is not going to change and the Z position is not going to change. But each individual X location will change. And you can see I've just set these up one, two, three, four, uh, up to eight, uh, one inch apart for the rack positions just for simulation. Um, but what you would do is jog the tool into the rack and hit set. This will set this DRO and the X position for tool one or slot one, I should say. Uh, and this will be all these DROs are in machine coordinates. So you just move on down the row and set each of the X coordinate for each slot position. Up here in the top left, we have our rack clearance for Y. This is a position that is safely in front of the rack. And again, you move it to that position and hit set rack position Y. This is when the tool is actually in the rack. And so once you get that position, it should be the same as long as your rack is parallel, it should be the same for each uh, of the X positions. So again, you hit set. Uh, tool load height in Z. This is the actual height of the tool when it slides into the rack and Z clearance for the rack is the position above the tool holders so that the spindle will clear and can move from slot position to slot position. Again, remember all these DROs are in machine coordinates. We also have, a. this is the current tool that's being called for and we have a LED here that will transition from yellow to black if a tool change is in progress it will blink and also our 
uh, pick and place feed rate so at what speed do you want to pick and place the tool into the rack so that's pretty much it for the setup uh, it's pretty straightforward and simple over on the ATC screen if you want to manually load a tool say into position 2 you will push the power drawbar button insert tool 10 into the spindle so you see we have tool 33 loaded in position 2 if you accidentally click the number 2 here you'll get prompted uh, to verify that tool 33 is not in the slot or delete the DRO so this error message pops up to let you know that uh, Mach 3 thinks that there's something in here and as you can see by the DRO it uh, does have something in here so let's put tool number 10 in slot 1 so again push slot 1 our input should be made for our spindle it's going to move Y and Z it's going to go down place the tool into the rack uh, you can see this tool slot DRO updates to 10 and there is tool 0 in the spindle so you can do that for any slot now one thing that's unique about my tool change macro and screen set is these DROs uh, you can put any tool number up to 99 in any slot position uh, therefore if you've got 30 or 40 different tools uh, and tool holders you're not uh, limited to just slot position 1 through 8 as you are with uh, every other tool change that I've seen on the market uh, for Mark 3 so it's pretty unique also if you accidentally put in say tool 100 and try to load it it will give you a message down here that says tool number 100 exceeds the maximum tool number of 99 so won't let you uh, put that in there now physically uh, we can use up to 200 tool numbers however that would require a three digit DRO and for aesthetic reasons I just limited it to the highest two digit number but we can put tool number 28 in slot position 8 and the X coordinate for slot position 8 is 8 inches so it's going to go over there it's going to go down it's going to move into the rack and then it's going to raise after it releases there is a delay there to make sure the tool releases uh, it updates the DRO to 28 and we update the spindle DRO to 0 now once you've got your rack loaded of course you don't have to physically load them with the spindle uh, you can just simply slide tool 28 into position 8 and then click on the DRO and type in 28 um, as long as you have your tool table populated with your tool offsets uh, and tool links I should say then the tool change macro is going to work just fine so you don't have to physically uh, load it with the machine all right so let's do a tool change so we can do a let's change to m6 t10 so it goes down picks it up releases grabs tool number 10 and now we have tool 10 in our spindle uh, because tool 0 was in the spindle to begin with uh, we didn't have to go anywhere to get it so we just went straight to 10 10 uh, excuse me to slot 1 to pick up tool 10 so that's pretty much uh, the tool change macro for the uh, CNC router rack type tool changer uh, one of the benefits of this screen is the ability to use tools number 1 through 99 also uh, the LED uh, inputs and outputs 
uh, the visual indication that your tool is clamped. That wraps up this video. If you're interested in a CNC router type screen set and macro, you can shoot me an email uh, or stop by and visit the website to contact me. I'll post, uh, I'll probably post this package on the website shortly. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, hopefully uh, I'll start working on my servo motor upgrade from DMM. Get back to doing some machining. Uh, I've been away for a couple of weeks, so I'm anxious to get back uh, onto my own projects. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.